My name is Pontus and I would like to see cities that are green, walkable and inclusive. There are many challenges that, that cities are facing and they are a little bit different depending on where you are in the, in the world. Security is a, is a big thing in, in many cities, safety. Uh, being able to walk safely uh, between work and home, for example. A lot of gender-based violence, street harassment and, and things like that. Security is definitely one issue. Another issue is um, uh, unsustainability. Uh, cities emit about 70% of the world's carbon emissions. Uh, and a lot of that is to do with urban sprawl. That cities are not dense enough, but they are sprawling like this and it requires us to move very long distances in order to, for example, move between work and home. Uh, many cities in the world have followed uh, uh, an urban planning, uh, an urban model, which is really focused on the use of cars. Um, and so urban sprawl combined with lack of public transport and lack of other ways of, of moving around in the city creates a really unsustainable situation, which we really need to deal with. Uh, uh, this urban planning model of the 20th century is something that we need to change now in the 21st century to make cities much more inclusive and sustainable and improve quality of life. I think technology has an important role to play in, in urban development in the 21st century, uh, but it's not the only thing. It's important to, to recognize that we need to plan cities well. Uh, we need to get the right kind of density. We need to get mixed use uh, so that you don't end up with zoning where you have workplaces far away from where people live, etc. We need to have integration. Uh, we need to have a social mix uh, so that we don't end up with uh, rich people living in one area of the city and poor people living in another area of the city. So getting this configuration of the cities uh, right is, is really fundamental. But I think technology can, can really help there. Uh, we can use technology like drones and big data and perhaps artificial intelligence to better map and understand the way the, that cities are, are functioning. Uh, we can optimize mobility systems, we can optimize the way that, uh, that people move around. And of course we can do public participation. Uh, and I think technology um, has, a, has a big potential to, to play in terms of, of public participation. It can be anything from public participation platforms like Decidim Barcelona that is, uh, that is here, to what we are doing with, with Block by Block, when we're using a really accessible and fun tool like Minecraft to crowdsource ideas about how public spaces can uh, be uh, uh, improved and uh, ensure a better quality of life. So Block by Block takes as its starting point uh, the fact that there is an inequality between ordinary people who are uh, not spatially trained often and the professionals who are designing our, our cities. Um, and how can, we, how can we narrow that gap in order to have a more uh, constructive conversations between uh, citizens and the public on the one hand, and professionals like architects and urban planners on the, on the other hand. Um, and we found that Minecraft, which is one of the world's uh, most popular video games with hundreds of millions of, of players, uh, is a really, really good tool for giving uh, design skills or a simple sketching tool, 3D sketching tools, to people that are perhaps not uh, normally, normally trained. So what we do is that we build public spaces and we build neighborhoods in Minecraft. So you end up with a 3D model of, of these areas. Um, and then we provide training in how to build them with Minecraft. We work with, with residents who live around those spaces. They get some time to uh, use Minecraft to sketch out their ideas for improving those public spaces. And then we invite in all the, then we invite in the, the policy makers uh, to listen to those ideas. And we have a discussion about how to uh, take forward those design ideas into the final designs and implementation of the public spaces. So essentially what we're doing is using uh, a really uh, easily accessible video game to crowdsource urban design uh, ideas from, from ordinary people. So I, I would like to see a city where non-motorized transport is the preferred mode of transport. So cycling, walking, uh, and of course with a good uh, functioning public transport uh, system. Uh, I also want to see a lot of public space. At least 50% of the area of the city should be dedicated to high quality, inclusive and green public spaces. Um, I also want to see uh, a city that uh, focuses on housing for everyone. Uh, housing is a fundamental issue for, for many cities.